got the uh, the lake is life shirt from simply southern on right now but we're heading over to a a very local thrift shop right now because the the place called the treasure mart in ann arbor is set to close at the end of the summer and that is one of the places that has been around ann arbor for almost the last 60 years and it's just sad to think that they're going away i mean they've been around for a long time and i just decided i'm gonna just drive over there and see what's going down and see how much the decay is or what's left and kind of just do a little bit of uh you know here and there well i don't know if i'll buy anything i mean i don't really need anything but i just i really wanted to go see i mean the whole pandemic thing has really taken away a lot of these nice small businesses that have been around for a long amount of time and especially places like this i mean it's just sad the nice Carytown area so that's the place right here yeah they're closing up well it's sad to think that this place is closing down they've been around for over 60 years just a correction but I mean sadly I can't videotape from the inside but today is their last day um, Wednesday July 22nd 2020 and it's just sad to think that they're closing. I mean, there they are. Last day of actually being a thrift shop and who knows what it will become after they redevelop the site or somebody else buys, but well, everything changes. I just uh, deposited my stimulus check and uh, yeah, that was hard. That was hard to part with the money, but then you get the money and then it's just like free money. Stimulus check get some that's pretty much all it was yeah I, I just parted with it and uh it says void after one year i didn't know you could keep those things for a year i thought they were void after like 90 days or something but i don't know what i'm gonna do now hey yeah. hey get over here a good way to ease the pain right now on another morning is to just listen to Buckethead while working on the car I keep getting that vibration when turning, so since I have an extra pair of these that I never put on this side, I might as well just replace those while the car's away. But, I mean, that's pretty loose anyways, so you can feel or see. I'm becoming pretty discouraged about this vibration. It's only when load is applied during a turn. Wheel bearing was replaced. Everything's practically replaced. The only thing I didn't replace is the ball joint. I highly doubt the ball joint is bad. But, Feeling really discouraged right now about all this. Oh no, a truck is coming right towards us. Ah, get out of the way. Oh, oh. Well, if you could only see how dark it really is, it's pretty interesting. I think that the dirt has been on there a little too long because it's not coming off with the hose today. But I need to do a car wash because this dirt is just caked on, as you can probably tell. Don't leave it on too long because it doesn't come off and it leaves stains on white cars. Took a lot of scrubbing, but I might say this looks so much better than it did. Especially the front. All those buggers gone. You can still see some of them, but that took a lot of scrape. Nothing like taking a nice drive and you just see farm side, farmland, dirt roads, and nothing else but that so this is the way that the car is gonna just sit holds the resonator up too because it goes through the bolt but unfortunately I just want to make sure that if anything happens that this is how it was I was told to do this um, I was told to put zip ties on it I've been working all morning rebuilding this pavilion tower and I'm gonna put Ubuntu on it but this is my one of my old computers and I just don't use it anymore so the easiest thing I can do with it is try and sell it throw it up online and see if I can get some money for it even thirty dollars or something I mean if you have an old computer like mine then you're able to get it back up and running 
you can reload it with the Ubuntu or Linux of some kind and then you can sell it off to the world and make a little bit of money on your old computer that you don't use anymore. I mean, I haven't, this thing's been sitting, I mean, this thing's been sitting for, what, six years now untouched? And it was funny going through all the files because I saved a lot of them to my external hard drive, but I mean, it was funny going through all of it. Remember the time when you could just take off the roof to the car? Well, that definitely is a cool, cool thing. The old Broncos. When you borrow something from your neighbor and they give it to you and you're like, oh, yay, I can finally use it. But then you're like, oh, crap, I broke it. Well, that happened to me. I borrowed a, a trimmer from my neighbor and I'm thinking to myself, oh, I'm just going to trim the trees. It's going to be easy. Well, that's easier said than done when I broke the trimmer. So unfortunately, I broke the trimmer and I'm going to try and remedy this by buying another one. Even though they didn't have the same one in stock, I'm going to just try and remedy it by buying another one and giving it to them. And if they don't like it, I'm going to end up buying two and end up with one. So I hope that all works out. You know what? Around these parts, a Bentley is not all that uncommon. I mean, I'm, I'm in Ann Arbor. Bentleys are pretty normal. So are Maseratis. I saw a Bentley Continental the other day, GT. And I also saw a couple of Ferraris. And I know Parker, the guy from Vehicle Virgins, who's no longer in Michigan, now there's a bunch of people with Lamborghinis. You want bad, that's pretty bad. I mean, yeah. That's a Kodak Ektachrome Super 8. That's a rare older Kodak film. We got two SX-70s under there that are submerged. All the film that's inside of the block, much more. It's just surprising that all that is still stuck in there. It's like watching money burn. Well, there's something you don't see every day. Everything's submerged and completely frozen. Holy moly. We're going to attempt to try and recreate some old photos as well. Zoe 101. I'm going to try and recreate some old photos while well, now that I'm no longer in my classes. I'm going to try and recreate them and see how they turn out to see like how much has changed from what I did. And this inquires me to actually go back and bring some some either props or some things that I had from that time period and go to the places that I went to which is like far far away now but I mean it's worth the trip and to do some of the things like that it would be fun to see what it's like to ride around or do what I did eight years eight nine years ago so I'm gonna try that what are you thinking you know, you don't have what are you doing Hey, 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 hey. My little exploring dog. We're kind of underneath just exploring. You can't not tell me that that's kind of cute. Hopefully this is the last and final time we're doing this, but we are going to go look at a red 2008 what is it, a Nissan Versa? Hatchback. It's a hatchback, wagon. wagon thing. And we are gonna go take a look at that and see if that may be a potential contender to come home with us and be a new vehicle in our line of cars that we have now. <laughs> oh, there it is, right there. Right there. Well, it's official, take a look at that. 2008 Nissan Versa wagon thing and it is actually not bad. 